Welcome back everybody. Welcome to another video. I'm your boy Xavier Spade. And, uh, you know what the deal is. I'm here to teach you some stuff and today I'm going to teach you something a little bit different now. I know for a while I was sitting down. I'm not sitting down anymore. I'm standing, moving around, making it happen. And I know I've been gone for a bit. I'm busy doing some stuff but here we are and I know you're interested in what I'm teaching because what I'm teaching today you already know. It, you saw it in the in the title. It's the SWE shift. Let's have some fun. I'm going to tell you right now this is a hard move. It's going to be hard to learn. It's going to be hard to understand and I'm going to do my best to explain it to you but it is very difficult. So just keep that in mind when you're learning this and uh, let's just get into it. All right, guys, so this is it. This is probably the hardest pass known to men, at least some men. Some men can't do it. Some men can't hack it, but I think you can. I think you can hack it. I think we should just break into it. So this is the SWE shift. It's been around for a long time. I haven't personally found a use for it. I've seen it used as a false cut when it was explained, but it really didn't make sense to me. And otherwise, I couldn't find a reason to do it like that because of the way that you have to hold the deck. You know, guys, just go grab your deck. Let, let me grab mine right about uh, there. And I think we should just break right into the SWE ship. The cards we're gonna be using, of course, are going to be my dead hands. You can get them at no1.shop. The link will be in the description below. And right now we're doing 20% off. So everything on no1.shop it's gonna be 20% off, so you can get your cards, you get some gilded ones, you can get an uncut sheet, whatever you want, whatever you want, whatever you want. All it does is help support me, help support this channel, help me make more videos for you. There's a lot of things I'm working on right now, which is why I haven't been putting out a lot of videos, a lot of behind the scenes work. I, I'm pretty much changing everything. So get them while you can, no one dot shop, dead hands. I appreciate all your support, and for those of you who have them already, thank you a very much. Let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so you've seen how it looks a little bit. Now let's break into it. So this is why I was saying it's really weird the way this pass works because you have to hold the deck in this kind of position here. It's really weird, boy oh boy. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna hold a break from the back of the deck like this, but you're not gonna hold it with your thumb. You're gonna hold it with your pinky. So I'm gonna turn around here. And what's happening is, <laughs> boy, this is, this is tough. The pinky, is coming across the bottom packet and then holding the edge of the card over here like this. So the bottom packet is almost uh, being held against the index finger and pinky like this. Then the thumb is on the side holding this here. The top packet gets placed on top and you're gonna hold it with your pinky against the bottom or the short edge of the pack and and your thumb is holding everything together like this so so this is the grip this is probably the most confusing part of the whole thing is getting you to understand how this is being held here so one more time you're going to hold the packet with your thumb index finger and pinky from the, from the long edges with the middle finger, with the index finger and pinky, thumb on the short edge. Now the packet that you have a break on is gonna be held with the thumb and then the pinky on the short edge. Rewind it, watch it a bunch of times till you get it, but that's the grip. Now what's gonna happen from here is you're going to move this packet around and underneath, okay? So originally, that's what was happening. The, the packet would go forward, like this and then come back all right now how do we get to do that is the difficult part the real difficult part so now you have this grip okay let's just assume that you already have this grip your top hand 
is gonna press against the bottom packet. It's pretty much gonna ignore the top packet. It's just gonna press against the bottom packet. And that will allow you to then use your pinky and thumb to pull the top packet back. Now what's happening is this bottom packet is being braced against your pinky that's had that weird grip and the fingers of the top hand that's bringing it back. Now from underneath, once it clears a little bit, your index finger is gonna push up, almost like a, like a one-handed cut, and then square everything up. So here's what it looks like from the side. Okay, and this is that weird position. So here, you see I'm not holding on to anything. It's just kind of floating here while this packet is moving around. Now your index finger pushes up and it brings it back. So at speed, it's kind of doing, I'll do it kind of, kind of fast, not super fast. This is like medium speed, but even that, it just kind of happens automatically once you understand it. So from the front, if you're doing this at the right speed, you can actually get this to look pretty invisible. But for what? Why? I don't know. Hey, you guys want to learn the hardcore knuckle busting stuff? This is the hardcore knuckle busting stuff. Let's try to put this into a scenario where you're actually gonna use it. So you spread to a card, let's say the King of Diamonds, and you're gonna hold a break above it. You're gonna make sure that you have a good side jog so that you can pivot the pack and hold it in this grip. And you're gonna lift up on the, on the break and put your pinky in there and get ready to do this shift. Now from here, you complete the shift, and I'll show you how to clean that up in a second, and that's it, okay? So, in full motion, it looks like this. Let's say the four of hearts. You just close it up, give it a nice little square to here, and that's it. It's on top of the deck. I, I honestly just can't see why anybody would use this move. Look at that, even with a big motion, I just don't get it. What is the point? Anyway, spread going to hold a side jog so that you can pivot, lift up, throw your pinky into that weird grip, fingers go in front, and you want to try to keep these fingers as still as possible. In fact, what I like to do is bring my thumb up near the top card of the top packet because I have this habit of my thumb kind of flaring out because it's such a weird move. So just try to keep it there and try not to push these fingers too straight, which is gonna be hard to do as well. I do it anyway. So, now that you're here, you're gonna press against the front of the packet so that this packet right here pushes against your pinky. Your thumb and pinky are gonna to start to pull back. Now, your index finger pushes up and underneath. And that's the shift. I've seen people use this as a false cut so they would just come to here and then put this down on the table and then put the other packet on top. I mean, I still don't get the point, but that's basically the shift. So here, pull back. So, you know, once you get it, it's not, it's, it's a pressure move, but once you understand the pressures, you don't have to use too much pressure. So you just do this, pull back, and it just, it just happens. So that's about it. Not a long tutorial. There's not much I could really go into with this move. It's just very, very tricky. Lift up, put your pinky in position. It's so weird. I guess we could talk about some covering actions. You know, one of the covering actions I've seen people do is they bring the packet up. So they come up to here to like blow on it, like, or whatever. I guess that could work. You know, I guess if you're here and you come up to blow, that can work. Uh, I've, like I said, I've seen people do the false cut. So they come up to here, they put the packet down. This packet goes back on top. So it looks like this, of the nine, right? So that goes down and then almost like a classic pass false cut, you know, that nasty move. That is about it. 
there's really not too much to talk about when you're talking about the SWA ship. This, it's really a weird move, man. You know, I, I'm sure you guys wanted to, I hope you learn it. If you guys have something to use with this move, please show it to me because I have no clue. I have no clue what to do with this. It's just so weird. Why, why are we holding the deck? Like, I don't know, it's just weird. But it is a move, it is a shift, it is in books. There you go. If you learn the SWE shift, you're well on your way to learning the longitudinal shift, which is not too dissimilar, it's just kind of done this way. It's really weird. But there you go, enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. I'm a scrub, but you still love me, you love me. Even though I don't make no money You've been there when the times get ugly I'm a scrub but you still love me, you love me I'm a scrub but you still love me, you love me Even though I don't make no money You've been there when the times get ugly I'm